When you double click on Xcode, you should see this screen. And uh, when you go into the file menu, you see new project. And if all the requirements are met, the OS is 10.5.6 and above, and the Xcode 3.1 is installed, you'll notice the top part here, it says iPhone OS. If you are a game programmer, you want to start from this point, which is OpenGL uh, Embedded System Application, because lots of games uh, use OpenGL. Uh, but uh, for this example, we're going to go with a window-based application. So I click on Choose. So we're going to give this a name, My iPhone App, and I'll put this on the desktop. And it shows me this screen. Now over here, you will see a bunch of files. Uh, we're not going to use all of them. The three most important ones that I'm going to use for this project is the H file, the M file, and the main window.xib. If you consider programming to be a little bit like cooking, so the H file, you can say, is roughly analogous to the list of ingredients that you need before you start to cook. Okay, The M file is the actual cooking instructions. Take this one, mix with that one, and do whatever. And the uh, main window.xib is the user interface. And when I double click on main window.xib, it opens up a second program which is called Interface Builder. So Interface Builder, you have three parts. This is the visual representation of your programming code. This is the iPhone's window. If you look at it, there's a, even a battery icon on the upper right hand corner. Okay? And these are all the objects that you need to build the user interface. So if I wanted to do a web browser, I will just type the word web. It will give me this thing called web view. It's actually a, a piece of code that's already been completed. You can just use it in your program. And I just need to drag this over. Like that. So after I've dragged it over, I need to link this to my program. So I click on control and I link it to the program. So you can see this is a complete engine. It's already got actions such as go back, go forward, reload the web page and so on. Right? So I'm going to quit this now and it will ask me if I want to save. So I click save and I'm going to do the programming. So the programming is just three simple lines of code. So we go into this <coughs> appdelegate.h, the header files. Header files is where you define things that you'll be using in the program. So we've already defined a window. Now I need to define one instance of the web view. So the command that I use for that is IB outlet UI web view web view. So to make it easier, I'll just copy and paste. All right, now I'm going to zoom it in so you can see exactly what the program code looks like. Okay. So that is in the H file. Now in the M file, there's another few lines of code. I'll use the second example. So you can see here, these are the instructions that will be executed after the program has started. So it's kind of like very, very easy to follow. First of all, you import the H file, all the things that you need to, to execute this program. Then you create a window on the iPhone screen. And if the application launches successfully, that's why it's got a line here that says, application did finish launching. If that is true, do these programming statements. So I'm just going to put in these programming statements and I'm going to take out the comments. Anything with a double slash in front is a comment. So basically it loads in a string and the web the web kit will uh, render the string. So I'll just say here welcome to UTAR. Right? And this will load it into the window. <coughs> And uh, if I had a working internet connection, I could actually load a URL at this point. So anyway, um, after this is done, 
Let's say, for instance, you're tired, you don't want to do any more work, you can just quit Xcode, and you see that it actually protects you. Anything that is not safe, it allows you to save. Right? So after you've saved it, then if you want to reopen the program, you just go here, recent items, and then you go into your project. So it's pretty easy to find out, find, find where, where it is. Okay, it's under the recent document. Okay. So once you open your project back up again, you just need to do one final link. Remember that the window on the left side in Interface Builder, this is a representation of your program. So you've added some programming statements that you have to account for. So when you control and click on this, you will see an additional item here called Web View, which you've got to link with the Web View in here. So that's done. So program is now complete. It's not a very complicated program, but it's now complete. So all I need to do is quit Interface Builder, save it, and then build and run the program. So when you build and run the program, a simulator will appear, and the program should execute in the simulator. There we go. Welcome to Utah. Okay. So this is a successful running of the program. So you see the simulator here. It actually can simulate a lot of things, but it also cannot simulate things like the accelerometer, GPS, digital compass, right? So that is why it is advisable. You either pay the $99 USD fee to get the iPhone developer program account so that you can transfer your program from the computer to a device for testing, all right? That's why if you see here, you'll notice you can either change, set it to the simulator or to a actual device, right? So uh, you need the, that fee so that you can get the digital certificate or you can apply it on behalf of the university. So if the university applies for iPhone developer university program, that fee is waived, okay? So that's how to create a simple iPhone application.